right, let's see how much deeper Gyron's quest, Gyorin, uh, see how much deeper the quest goes to make something of himself. Show me the new money. I feel like my voice is more nasally right now than normal, but it probably is always this nasally, so whatever. I've got a new idea, Mercy. I'll leave the ideas to Gofu. That is my idea. Yes, yes. Please come with me. Let us hear what wisdom Gaiofu has to offer. Gaiofu. G-Y-O-F-U. G-Y-O-F-U. He is the um, short catfish man that uh, told him that his gems were worth nothing. Mining prospects. Gaiofu, Gaiofu, I have something to ask you, and I want you to tell me all you know. That much I can do. What is it, Gaiofu? You're not looking for a normal chipper. You're not looking your normal chipper self. I've been reading my em Emma Kimono. Uh, they tell of so many ways to make one's fortune, and I've tried them all. Each one, every one, but I've yet to meet with any success. And so I want to ask you, Gaiofu, if you were in my barbels, what, what would you do? Do you know of any path I can walk to quick wealth, any at all? A quick path to wealth? Hmm. I suppose there is one that comes to mind, but is dangerous. Very dangerous indeed. Do you know of the ruins that lie to the east of here? They were once a Garlean stronghold. Within them, there, there still remain all manner of weapons, relics from the days of war. At least that is what the rumors say. Yes, yes. There just might be some treasure there. Weapons so fine, they would put even the smiths of Doma to shame. Maybe, maybe not. I cannot say for sure. But what I can say for sure is this. Those ruins and the, and the way to them are fraught with peril. Lupin turned looters uh, prowl the place. Monstrous hounds called Teoquan lurk in the shadows. There is no wealth to be had in death, Gyron. No, no. You should not go to this place. Treasures? Relics? Is more than I hoped for. Thank you, Gaiofu. I knew I was right to ask you. I would not be... It would not be a quick path to wealth if it were not dangerous along the way. That, too, was written in my um, ima, ima kimono. I don't know why I cannot pronounce that every single time. I will go to these ruins, and I will find my fortune. Still, I do not stand much of a chance against Lupin and Teoquan, and whatever other dangers may come. Hmm... Of course. You'll come with me, won't you, Mercy? I knew that you would. Yes, yes. Come then. Let us away. <sighs> hmm. So that's where it is reading. Right, cool. It is felt mostly pointless, except for the gear, which... I've like need needed needed one or one or two pieces, but I found an ether current along the way. Has this been here the whole time, or only because I'm coming across it with this quest? I can't fly yet. Damn, I was hoping that could. I was hoping I'd be wrong saying that. Ba, ba, ba. All right, take me to the river. Me in the water. Oh, this is like some big. It's like these trees, these like tree, the bark structure things that are walking on their hands, but they can like flip their. Okay, so their arms are long. They're walking on their long arms, and they have lower legs that they can flick forward to attack. Interesting. Interesting. Somewhat nightmarish creatures. Hey, Gyron, what's up? I have no idea how I made it this far without being seen. Not spotted, not smelled. Maybe I have a talent for going undetected. I wonder if that is a skill I could use to get rich. I will think more on it later. For now, let us keep the pace. Uh, I will make it all the way to, to the Garlean Ruins without a soul other than you and I knowing of it. Yes, yes. Why are you walking that direction? No, yeah, whatever. This doesn't matter in the long run. But we're heading southeast. To Castrum Fluminus, or at least near Castrum Fluminus. Tanaga are the um, treant sort of things that are like walking on their long arms. Here's Gyroin outside. You know, the walls of an imperial fortress. I've made it without a single beast or fiend taking notice of me. All too easy. But now for the hard part, to find whatever treasures await. By the by, did I, I did see a horde of some rather mean-looking lupin just over there. Very nasty, very feral. So, here's my plan. While I search these containers for anything worth selling, you create a diversion and lure the lupin away from me. Yes, yes, you are an adventurer. Surely you live for quests such as this? Yeah, I can do it. 
is more interesting than the other things you've had me do. The Teoquan, by the way, are like the shadow dogs with like the white claws. Shadow wolves. Hoons. All of these Lupin have spears as if they are dragoons or lancers. And luckily, my Jacobo is still active. Really quick work. They have an attack called the bottom line. That's Bye. I only used like less than 30, well, roughly 30 seconds of my Chocobo's um, existence on this Gishel Green. Existence was a weird word to use in that, in that case, but it's true. The perfect aversion. Thank you, Mercy. I could hear the din of battle while I was, while I searched. I wanted desperately to come and help you, but I managed to stay true to my task. And though, I found some relics that look quite valuable to my eye. I will head back to the manor and show them to Gaiofu. He will know if there is anything here worth selling. And I have a feeling that this time there is. It must, must be. Has to be. Alright, bud. We go mostly west. Back to the manor of the catfishman. The short catfishman. Catfishman? Please, let this be the last one. Or, I mean, if it's still leading somewhere, great. But, like, my weird sense of plus quest completionism, which is not total completionism, because I know which plus quests I don't give a shit about doing from the early levels. Like, I don't, I'm not interested in glamour or changing my appearance for the most part, so I've skipped those quests. Like or like, um, coloring my armor. I don't, I don't care about that yet. When if if or when I do, I know how to do it. I know how to at least get started on it. So, but yeah. Most other plus quests that I don't know what they do, I've gone with it just to see kind of what it gives, what what happens. All right, Gorin, Gaiorin, let's see what happens. Cutscene. Speaking to Gaiofu. Gaiofu. Look, Gaiofu, I've returned from the Garlean ruins, and here's my haul. What do you think? Do you see anything here that will fetch a fair price at market? You truly want? You truly went to the ruins and returned to speak of it? You're a braver Namazu than, uh, than most, Garin. Courage, courageous, bold. Show me then. Show me what you have. Cutscene goes black for a second, and we're back with some like rifle swords, musket swords, pistol swords. Hmm. This is this piece is very fine indeed, and this one as well. A truly fortuitous find. Well done, Gyron. Every weapon here looks to be valuable. They need a bit of touching up here and there, but yes, yes, they will fetch you a good deal of coin. There are many domans who still wish to fight the Garleans to the last. They will be more than willing to take these weapons off your hands and part with a pretty guild to do so. Do you think so? Truly? I finally found something worth selling? Worth peddling? Worth vending? Have you ever known Gaiofu to leave a fault to give a false appraisal? No, no. Your dream is at heart, at hand, Gairin. Sell these weapons. Take the coin you make, and with it, you can start down to the path to becoming a legendary merchant. Gaiof, Gaiofin, like shakes in happy anticipation. I will. I will. Starting this day, I am going to open my shop. I will name it the New Rich. Customers will flock to my doors from all over Yangxia. Yes, yes. My business will thrive, and my coffers will overflow, and my barbels will give uh, will guide me to the greatness turns to you. Thank you for all your help, Mercy. You have been with me through it all. I will not forget you when I am at the top. I should hope not. Has this unlocked anything? I don't know yet. Alright. Um, white Mage Hat Kudzu, Hat of Healing. So, Determination Piety, okay, 273. Then Red Mage Hat, 273, okay. Crit, crit Determination, that's fine. Um, two seventy three. Okay. So red mage hat is currently two seventy. White mage hat is currently two sixty. Okay, it's cool. I'll take the white mage hat. Skip through the cutscene because we've already seen it. 
It said white mage hat, right? Yeah. It's, it's the same stats, but like higher. Oh no. This has unlocked another plus, plus quest. Amber alert. Oh my gosh. What am I. This is stupid. Alright. So. Let's equip this on my What's Mage. I made the right choice, right? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Okay. And it looks like a kind of like a blue, uh, like a teal colored um, wizard hat. It boosts me to 267 average, which is still just one below all the rest of the three that I have. Does not fit my outfit at all, but that's what it is. What it is. And I will see you next time.